Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. It's early, early Sunday morning here, and I'm going to make Troy a banana split cake, and I thought I'd bring y'all along and let you visit in the kitchen while I get it going. Um, I've already got my box of cookies in the food processor, and um, we're going to get over there and crush them up, and I've got my butter melted in the microwave, so we're ready to get rolling. So let's get over to the to the processor and we'll grind up the vanilla wafers. If you don't have a processor, just put them in a bag and use a rolling pin or some kind of a long bottle like olive oil or something and use that for your rolling pin and crush them. We'll get that done and then we'll get on with what we're doing next. I just have a Cuisinart uh, food processor. I bought one of the first ones that ever came out. 35, 40 years ago, a long time. I don't even know if April was born yet, and April's 46, and just about wore it out. So now I have this one, and I don't like it as good as the first one, but it does the job. So I'm just going to uh, put the lid on. And just pulse it till I get them broke into pieces. That's it. Now we're gonna get back over to the butcher block and I'll mix them with melted butter and I'm gonna press them into the bottom of my uh, pan here. Let me get y'all situated again. I'm going to, I wasn't going to spray this, but I've got plenty of, it's going to have plenty of oil from the margarine here, the butter. I don't use margarine. What am I talking about? I'm going to put my crumbs in. Some of them didn't whiz up as good. Put the butter in and stir it around. And I'm just going to use my fingers because I want it to be, uh, every bit of it to have some butter on it. And once you get this done, you just press it down in there for the crust. Somebody's going to get a big old bite of cookie because it didn't crumble up good as it should have. If you keep doing it, just because you see one or two pieces in there, you have powder. And I didn't want a powdered crust, I wanted a crumbed crust. My cousin, Melva, brought this to a family reunion that we had. 45 years ago, probably. It makes me look old, don't it? I'm quit telling y'all how long ago it was. And we liked it. And it's the first time we'd ever had it. So she shared the recipe, and uh, we've been making it every now and then, ever since then. So I'm going to let that set up for a minute. Let my pudding get a little bit thick, and I have to put it on here. And I'll be back, and we'll finish it and get it in the icebox so that after church today, we'll have dessert went back and checked and this needs to go ahead and be put on here before it gets real firm and let it firm up in here so I won't be stirring it up and take it away from its set being set so when I dip it out it'll hold its shape. I'm going to put it on there. We'll let that, I'm going to try to find room in that icebox under the carport where to get real firm. And then we have to put the rest of that banana split ingredients on the top. That's what makes it yummy. And it's so fun because it's no bake. You just make it. Don't have to heat the kitchen in the summer or worry about it in the winter. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we've got to drain one can of crushed pineapple. I got my hand crank um, can opener from Thrive Life, but they don't have them anymore. And somebody told me you can get them on um, Amazon. I think you can get anything on Amazon. It sure is handy, especially if you have arthritis in your hands. It's a lot easier to open cans. I'm just going to drain this in the sink. I don't need that juice. Press some of it out. I'm 
get as much liquid out as you can. Okay. I've got that ready to go over there and get ready for the next step. The next thing we're going to do is cover this pudding with bananas. So I'll just slice them in here. I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers. I'm sure glad to have you here. Getting a lot of comments from people that I haven't met before. And then I like all the comments from the people that are here every time I make a video. And it just thrills me for you to keep coming back and being a part of the Apron Strings family. I had a few bananas, but they had gotten too ripe, so I ran and bought a few more yesterday evening. I better get some more. That's not near bad enough. We like banana pudding, too, so I guess the fact that this is bananas in here makes it desirable in our house. And it won't last long. The kids will probably come by and that's what I like. And it'll be gone. And then I get to make something else. I told y'all, my mama used to make her pound cake. And I've got it in my videos, Mama's Millionaire Pound Cake. She made one for her and Daddy every week. Of course, if they had company, she'd have to make another one because it would be eaten. But she generally would make one every week and give to her pastor. And um, they appreciated it. Look forward to it. That was her offering, her sacrifice, her gift, whatever you want to call it. And I'm sure the good Lord blessed her for it. I don't have but one more banana here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. So y'all don't have an exact amount of bananas. It's how much banana you like and how big your bananas are. But it's just the crust and your two boxes of pudding on top of the crust. And then you cover that with bananas. Punch them down in that pudding a little bit. And I'm going to save these for my chicken. So let me get something to put that in. They like them. If they don't, the roses do. Let me get the next thing. Okay, on top of the bananas, we're going to put our pineapple. And just, I got most of the juice out, so you kind of have to work to sprinkle it around. But try to put it where everybody will have a little bit of everything in it. And if you like a lot's of pineapple, you could put an extra can, I guess. It's yours. You can do what you want to. Mama used to make a pineapple cake, and I'm going to do that before long. And she would cook this delicious pineapple icing and put on a yellow layer cake. It was so good. That's another one she was known for. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is easy. You rinse my hands. We're going to top it with Cool Whip. Or, of course, you can make your own whipped cream if you don't like Cool Whip. But this is what's best for me today. I don't have any whipping cream to make my own. So I've got, this was in the freezer, I keep some just, just for occasions like this. And I bought the Extra Creamy, H-E-B's Extra Creamy. And 
and you can put lots more whipped cream if you want to. You can get the big old container. This is just what I had in the ice box. I get so many comments over me calling the refrigerator an ice box. Well, that's what I grew up calling it. When my mom and dad first married, their first house did not have electricity. Uh, you know, it was just coming in and being available. So uh, they grew up with a li literal ice box, that some kind of a something that held a block of ice to keep stuff. And for the first few years of her life, they didn't even have that. I don't know where they got ice. I guess the ice truck came by. I don't know. I wish I could ask her, but I can't. I'll lick that one and use a different one. Now i got to wash it, but I licked all my fingers. Get your paper towel. I like for it to be neat. Okay, I've got a gadget that I want to show y'all, so I'm going to run get it, and I'm going to use it to slice the cherries to go on the top. I'll be right back. Y'all remember here a while back, I told you that I was having a Tupperware party, and I put a link down if you wanted to order, and some of y'all did. Well, this is one of the things that I got with my credit for having the party. And I don't remember what its name is, <clears throat> but you put cherry tomatoes, or anything round that you want to cut right here on this and then you close the lid on it let me show you and you have a knife that comes with it it works perfect on cherry tomatoes when you want to half them I love it know how I love gadgets. Okay, you get them on there and then you close the lid. Can y'all see? You close the lid and you put the knife in that little slot right there. And then you have halved cherries. And y'all can't, let me get it over here and see if I can get it where you can see. See, they're all in halves. It cuts everything in half as you run the knife under because you're holding it down so it gets, gets it halved. I love it. So what we do now, obviously, is we're just going to put some cherries around on the top. Just like the cherry on the top of a banana split. When I was a kid, Daddy's worked in the oil field, and sometimes work would be, they called it the rig was down, and money was tight, and um, Mama went and got a job at the little cafe thing at uh, Wine Gardens. We lived in Baytown for a few, a few times, a couple of times, and this is one of the times we were in Baytown. And we'd go up there to see her, and we could get us a banana split. I had never heard of a banana split. Oh my goodness, I loved them. Funny how you remember things from being a little kid. And I think they cost 25 or 30 cents. Quite different from nowadays, but wages weren't very good either. I just love this gadget. Lauren, make my granddaughter, makes a delicious pasta dish that has lots of cherry tomatoes and garlic in it. And uh, we use this to slice those cherry tomatoes. Works like a charm. Okay, and we have one last thing to put on it. Let me get this over there and rinse it off, and then we'll put the last item. Last item, last whatever on top. Y'all know we live out in the country. And y'all see me, I know, looking out the window sometimes. But when there's squirrels out there cutting didos and being cute, I can't help but look out there and see them. And there's one 
out here to the side over the sink out that window on the entertaining committee. Okay, let me get out in the ice box and get one more thing out and then I'll be back. I actually have some caramel syrup too, but I'm just going to put chocolate on the top. And there you have it. Banana split cake. Okay, here it is. All of its splendor and beauty. And it's going to be delicious. But I got to put it in the icebox and let it set up real good before I cut it. Okay, I got me a piece of a plastic wrap. And I'm going to spray it with some of my, I call it kitchen spray, Pam. That way it won't stick. And I'll go get this in the ice box, and then when we get back from church, it'll be set up and ready for lunch. And I will try to get a picture of it on a plate for y'all. Tell y'all something. I am very thankful that I'm blessed to live in the United States of America. I'm very thankful that I have freedom to go and openly worship Jesus. A lot of countries don't have that privilege. And I don't know how long we'll have that privilege. Thankful for the freedom that I've been given all my life and the good life that I've had. God has blessed me, blessed beyond measure. So I'm going to go to his house today and worship him and praise him. You know what? That's what he created people for, to love him and talk to him and worship him. The people kind of got off track and they don't do what they're supposed to. So let me just tell you, if your kids act up and don't do what you want them to, don't, don't look at yourself and think, I failed. Because the first two kids that God made did exactly what He told them not to. And He punished them. So through the years, His kids have messed up. We're still His kids. He, still, he didn't make me from a rib and put Troy to sleep. But He still created all of us. And so... We need to do what we were created to do. We need to praise and worship Him and live like He wants us to live and be a good kid. I'll see y'all after a while with a piece of banana split cake. Well, y'all, we finished our lunch and Troy had that big old helping of banana split cake. And I didn't want any. I'd rather have another helping of collard greens and a rib. We had warmed ups today. I had cooked ribs a few days ago, and then I had the cornbread chicken pot pie left over. So we just had a hodgepodge on our plates today, and we're full and satisfied. See, that's what you do. You cook extra, and then you have enough for a day or two, and then you get tired of it. Anyway, I hope y'all will try the cake. All you have to do is look at the recipe ahead of time and have your ingredients, because you don't have to cook it. And actually, it didn't take that pudding long to set up on there. I didn't wait a long time on it. <clears throat> it just needs to be firm enough that you can layer everything and then chill it for 30 minutes to an hour if you, you know, to let everything kind of marry together where when you take it out, it'll stay in one piece. But it was very yummy. So that's another good one for y'all to put in your recipe box for a quick treat for unexpected company or if you get a... Notice that, hey, we're going to come over this evening. Well, you got time to make that one, and you don't even have to turn your oven on. I hope you all have had a wonderful Sunday. You'll get this probably Tuesday, and you'll be able to make it for your family for this week or for the weekend or for whenever. The good Lord bless and keep you all. I hope you're watching the sale papers and picking up a few extra things and putting them on your shelf. Planting a few seed where you can grow some food. See... Even if you've never gardened, you need to practice. Get you some seed and, and just plant a little bit where you'll have the confidence to plant you a garden if it gets where we can't get fresh stuff or you need it. Don't be a, a, a novice when it's necessary. Learn ahead of time. But even if you don't plant right now, you might get you a few seed for the vegetables that you like the best because we may not be able to get seed. You never know. 
The good Lord bless and keep y'all. I'll be back in a day or two with something else good. And one more time, welcome to all the subscribers that have joined within the last month. I've had a wonderful growth on the channel. I am very thankful. I thank the good Lord for it. And I ask the good Lord on a regular basis to bless my YouTube subscribers because y'all are a blessing to me. I'll see you again real soon. Take care of yourself. And the good Lord bless you.